you know what the dating feel outside is scary and i know that you might not be ready yet for dating or you are in the process of dating and today i'm going to give you some dating advice that are going to save you so much time and so much energy Here's some advice that you wish you knew before about men because let me tell you something i have a lot of male friends and a lot of brothers i got like nine and i saw them at different ages and different stages of their life so i know how they act i know how they react and let me tell you men are not that different from each other so let me give you the hacks hey guys i hope your day is going well today we're here for a new video and i'm gonna give you some tips that i wish i knew before i started dating because i started dating like three years ago and let me tell you something i went through a lot of things <laughs> cheating disrespect abuse whatever you want flirting whatever it's, it's, it's a trap you know the streets you don't want to be there no ma'am no ma'am you don't want to be you don't want to be on the streets the streets are not a place you want to be trust me i know that but anyway first hack is gonna be you do not want to break your friendship for a man you don't want to do that wanna, you, you don't want to get into that you don't want to break your friendship because they will not do the same for you if the role were reversed their bestie their homeboy would have went before you trust me that's why bro before hoes is a thing why isn't it the same in the feminine friendship because let me tell you some there are plenty of fish in the sea why are you acting like he's the biggest one he's not you do not know how hard a man's ego get boosted when he realized that he fucked to y'all and he broke your friendship because you know you do not want to be friends with someone who slept with the same man you slept with but him he would not have an issue with that he would not care if it was his homeboy who slept with you no i'm telling you the truth trust me it's not that serious and if you saw like a red flag in your bestie do not make a noise about it do not say like oh it's because of the man that i broke up with my bestie that i stopped talking to her keep that privately if she want to make some noise let her make the noise but you deny 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 no face no case you do not want to get caught breaking your friendship over a man that's embarrassing honestly let's be honest with ourselves and i think like that's common sense like my mama told me that when i was like eight years old you do not want to break your friendship for a man obviously not because before him there was no issue he is the issue trust me and then something else that you definitely want to hear again definitely need to hear again is that they want you to take the bare minimum as the epitome of love care and respect i saw a video on tiktok of a girl that was saying like when you was first starting to date a man he was going to give you 100 percent of his time respect attention care love whatever you want and then after like three weeks or a month the, the attention the care the love the respect drops drastically and then when you start to notice that things are not the same they don't want you to freak out they want you to start getting used to his absence to his abuse his lack of respect to his lack of love to his lack of everything he's gonna make it a little bit higher he's gonna be like he's gonna give you like 85 percent now you're gonna go from 100 percent to 85 percent and then you're gonna go to 95 percent so you're gonna be like oh I want 10% of his attention, love, care, and respect. But guess what? You still lost 5% because it wasn't, it, it's not like before. Do not need or have to tolerate a slight change in his behavior. I was feeling of ick and I'm not telling you to be like disrespectful or like to be asking men for money or whatever. I'm talking about behavior. Once you feel things are slipping a little bit, take your dense distance let him make up for himself because he knows what he's doing and this is the one thing that i want y'all to realize men are not dumb men are actually smarter than us trying to play smart while whole time we're getting played how are you smart and he's playing you because he's the dumb one right he's the ugliest one right so why is he playing you if you are so smart, you would not get played, baby girl. You, it's time to level up your game. As much as you're not letting things slide with people in the general, like in regular life, do, do not let any difference in your private life. Do not let things slide. The first time he start behaving some weird way, saying some weird things, having some weird reactions, make him known that this is not tolerable. Why are you acting like this man is the biggest fish in the sea? I don't want to look like, you know, I'm I'm giving y'all advice to, to don't trust men, men or dogs, etc. No, there are plenty of good people outside. You just have to find them. But when you find a dog, you need to run. Some 
something that is gonna sparkle at the first three weeks to first months of the relationship he's gonna cause a big scene it might be because you went through his phone because someone called him at a weird hour of the night while you were sleeping together or something about his girl best friend you know something suspicious something really ridiculous that's gonna make he's gonna make a big deal about it you know if you let that slide you lost his respect if you let that one thing that he's gonna do to you slide and you know exactly what I'm talking about, which big thing that he done to you that you let slide and after that, things were never the same. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah, if you let that shit slide, honey, you lost his respect, you lost his love, his care, etc. You probably have like 10 other people with text and on Snapchat, five other people with iMessage, you know, you do not want that. And let me tell you something, do not reveal your full potential to that person. Do not give them husband wife material while he outside acting like he don't know you in public i was doing that i was dating a guy that was telling everybody at school that we wasn't dating like you do not want to do that you do not want to make the same mistake i did and let me tell you something all that i'm saying here i experienced that okay once you start giving them wifey material the chase is over until you are not married with a rock on your finger, you should not be getting giving anybody wife material. And if I remember, my mom told me that mom, you should treat a man as your your husband only if he is actually your husband, or else you're just losing your time because he will not do the same for you. Even though he will call you my wife, wifey, bae. No man. Mm -hmm, these are just words. Let me tell you some with men. They can be telling anybody exactly what they're telling you exactly what they're telling you you know what matters with men how they show up how you make them feel like they have to chase you you know what what, what i understood that was a dude in my school who was literally telling everybody that he loved me was in love mad in love with me and stuff to this day he's in love with me to this day i never dated him because he always showed signs of i was always that's the behavior like i didn't want to get too close to him because it was like <laughs> there was my face every time i opened his mouth like <laughs> are you okay in the head like no i didn't know what that and let me tell you something this was the longest chase of my life the dude spent two years and a half chasing me and that made him his ego triggered as fuck and he started to do the most chivalrous things that i've ever seen just because i didn't want to date him he was acting like he wanted me this is what you want if you're interested in someone make them feel like they want you even though you want them more make them feel like they want you make them feel like they want this not you you're cool with the idea of dating him but mm -mm, you don't know you're not so sure that's why men like shy girls because shy girls don't know what they want or they pretend they don't and this this is how they win because let me tell you something who do not want to be the one chasing the man why he's gonna start acting like a princess do you want to be a princess or do you let's be honest honey so as i was telling you this guy chased me for like two years and a half and he treated me good until he started to hate me because i didn't want to date him this is the next stage and this is why i've seen a lot of people talking about Oh, my boyfriend don't want me. I hate my girlfriend. I do did a lot of shit to make my girlfriend leave me. And I lived that. Let me tell you something. My worst breakup was last year. My last breakup was really hard. It was really public. Everybody know, know about it. And he did. You know, once he started to get interested in this other girl. And this is what my fourth point is going to bring us to. He started treating me like I was less than a piece of shit. And then... He did things, he did things, he did things. He did horrible things to me. He treated me like shit, shred up shit because he didn't want to be in a relationship anymore. He was ready to leave. Once he's ready to leave, you will feel it. Do not ever let a man feel like they're ready to lose you. Never. This is the biggest mistake. If you start feeling in the behavior, out. To the left. Okay? So my four point bring us where? It brings us to a point where if men are not afraid to cheat on their 22 years old 
relationship. The relationship has 22 years old. They've been de dating since college. You should never be scared of living a situation that no longer serves us. Society made us feel like if we go through a lot of dating processes, we flirt with a lot of men, we sleep with a lot of men, it's a problem. Is it though? Is it though? Because let's be honest with ourselves. You want to be as experienced as you need to be before getting into marriage. And that means dating. That means flirting. That means sleeping around to see what you like, what you don't like. That means experiencing life. I'm pretty young, so I don't have a lot of chicken in my roster. <laughs> but let's be honest. We need to experience more. We need to get out of our comfort zones. We need to stop being scared to flirt, to sleep around. I'm not telling you to be responsible with it, though. Protect yourself. Be careful with who you're messing with, with who you're mixing your energy with. Make sure that these people align with your beliefs, etc., etc. Okay, you never know pregnancy, UTIs, whatever. It's very dangerous out there, as I said before. But do not be, never be scared of living in a situation that no longer serves you, especially if that situation is actually a person. <laughs> Why are you faithful even before you guys have officialized your relationship? Nobody ever asked you to be your girlfriend, your boyfriend, and you start acting like you're in your relationship. With who? With yourself? You are in a relationship with your delusions and you do not want that, baby girl. You are being deluded in the bad way and you are embarrassing yourself and the entire womanhood. You know why? Because when the man will be, what are we? <laughs> You're gonna cry to your bestie. Your bestie's gonna be like, I told you so. Because listen up. You started talking to this boy two months ago. And you started to give to give him wifey treatment, to give him wife material treatment. Meanwhile, he's treating you like an option. Whole time you're an option. Whole time you stop texting this other dude that was really treating you nice because you're more interested in that dude that is not interested in you. And you're in your masculine energy. You're chasing him. Some is wrong. A lot of things are wrong in that scenario. You know why? You're not supposed to be chasing. You're supposed to be flirting around and getting your way, period. And if someone is mad at that comment, baby, argue with your keyboard, okay? Because I want to be in my feminine energy. This video is for feminine people. You should listen up. Chasing is never going to get you anywhere. Being the provider is to get no, never going to get you anywhere except being stressed out. It's going to cause a lot of tension in the relationship because as a feminine person, you need to be in the position where you are able to receive. A lot of us as women want things, but we cannot receive them. How are you asking for compliments, but you cannot accept one? And when people give you compliments, you're brushing them off. No, accept them gracefully like you, because as you are always telling yourself and people, I deserve this. Act like you do. So before we're talking about masculine and feminine energy, let me tell you something. You do not want to be like that girl in Encanto and act like you are only worth respect, love, care, etc. Proving shit. What are you proving? Proving to who? You don't need to be proving anything to be worthy of anything. He did not prove anything to you except from giving you the bare minimum. So why do you wanna be out of your way doing stuff for someone who's not willing to do the same for you? Who are you proving? And what are you proving? What are you doing? Relax. You don't need to be proving anything to anybody. You do not need to be always on your phone checking out your phone for his message, like telling yourself, oh my God, when is he gonna respond to the message? No. When you express your unhappiness with something and the same thing keeps happening and happening and happening and happening, it's because the first time what you said, he didn't care. I don't I don't care what excuse. Oh, but he was busy. He had work, honey. I don't give a fuck. What are you telling me? Oh, he was busy. He had work. Nah, nah, nah. Nobody gives a shit, honestly. If he wanted to, he would. There's people out there who are broke and homeless and have girlfriends who go out in the cold to get an apple from, you know, the storage bins, like Le Fatra. 
these things get an apple getting flowers walking miles to get to a florist bin and to steal flowers or whatever for the girlfriends or whatever to go to a park to go take some flowers and give the bouquet to their girlfriends honey you do not need money to show a person that you care about them you do not need money to show that the person matters you not you do not need expensive places to prove the thing with me and what i'm telling you here is that if the person is not doing this because they love you if they're doing it and it, it feels like it's an it's a show they put in it's an act everything is a show even though if they're if they were a millionaire even if they didn't love you even if your relationship with like a sugar daddy or something the sugar daddy is gonna be like oh my girlfriend she don't deserve anything less than what i'm about to give her because she's my girlfriend she got standards i respect her so therefore i don't think i'm gonna i'm not gonna go out of my way to give her something that is less than she deserves love don't even have to be involved in that only thing that you have to keep in mind is that they have to know what you deserve it's not enough that you know you know okay you know but you don't act like it if you can make time for me while you are busy means 100 percent more than any kind of gift that you can give me if you find time to listen to me when i want to be listened find goods where to reassure me trust me it's 100 percent more than anything that you can wish for materialistically materially i don't know how to say it, but you get my point anything that you want is respect acknowledgement care time energy love love is all of those because if one of these lack or lacking then the love goes down i'm gonna try to end this video on a more positive note by saying not really positive but a more understanding note where i'm gonna be like girl these boys are going through some things life is hard for every one of us every one of us has our own problems like you don't know what people are going through hey, this is why i'm telling you that if a person has time for me i'm really taking it big but if a person do not give you that and you're supposed to be dating don't you think there's a problem here it's not the point of my outro the point of my outro is please give them boys some grace and Please stop making lists that you can go to Applebee's, Cheese Cheesecake Factory, or Olive Garden. Babe, we are all at different stages of our lives. If you're at a stage where you see that Olive Garden is not, it's out of your league, please do not make it public and make other people feel bad. Because the thing is, when you make men feel bad about what they do, what they're capable of doing, they won't do anything at all because they will start developing imposter syndrome. They'll be like, oh whatever whatever i do would never be enough for these girls whatever i do would never be good enough for them whatever i do would never make them happy do not do that be very appreciative of what you got and what they give you make sure that you are not looking ungrateful the last thing you want to be in a relationship is ungrateful because life is hard is a first if a person is willing to make time for you in this economy to, to bring you to dinners to make you happy to make you smile whatever look at it big because men are crying themselves to sleep do not be mad at them when they gas you up when you're like oh but i'm gaining weight or i'm losing weight whatever your goal might be because they have buddy that's more fear too trust they're not at a state of their life where they can grow they're at this at a state of survival right now they don't have time for that shit okay if you're in a position where you can where you can grow and this is what my channel is all about growing together and you know evolving and i'm sharing my journey with y'all so please subscribe and follow my instagram everything will be linked in the bio so yeah if someone is willing to do all that for you please be respectful grateful and mindful of that and thank them oh and i was about to forget if a man is trying to pay you dinner for some post block him Somebody told you that, oh, I thought I would I was gonna get this because I paid dinner for you. Block him. 
I said what I said. So guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope you liked it. It was a real pleasure for me to be with you today. And please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to share with your friends. And if you're my friend, share with your other friends. Please know that I love you. And thank you for the support. And see you next time.